Hey guys, Man here and welcome back to the free town of Thornsbury. It's been a while since we've been here. As you know, we've been working on some different projects uh, like Chamar and stuff like that. Uh, but we're back now. A lot of you guys seem to miss this series here. So thank you so much for all of those who uh, really just said to me, Hello Viggo, you can't believe Thornsbury, you gotta get back to it. Um, that really made me realize how many of you guys that like this town. Uh, yeah, because I had like this idea that not really many people like working on Thornsbury, but yeah, it's good to see that some of you guys really like that, so we're bringing it back. That was the plan all along anyway, uh, but we're gonna just continue here. I've been working some, I've been working some without you guys, trying to get in the mood, so I've been expanding the town a little bit and it's looking fabulous. I love this place. If you haven't seen Thornsbury, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been following the old series of Thornsbury, uh, voice crack! Hey guys, <laughs> perfect, alright, um, yes, Thornsbury is basically a, a town for thieves, well, it, it started as a town or a free town for bandits and thieves that were robbing towns around the desert of Amirea, and then they settled here after the commander uh, Janos Malat, which is the commander of the western occupation, really put a big bounty on getting the thieves so they decided to build their own little town which is uh, protected by a wall like this so it's kind of tricky getting in here uh, and basically they just built up a community where no one really ruled you could do whatever you want here uh, you could sell slaves which is what we're going to work on today you could have animal fighting pits selling stolen goods poison all of that and no one would really care uh, there's also a lot of noble or honest businessmen here that came here for uh, with a thirst for wealth. So uh, yeah, there are all of, yeah a lot of different people here. But today we're going to be working on the slaving market, as the title might already have said to you, which is going to be over here. I've been adding a little bit of a gate here because I think the slave market should be even harder to get to, so that if you are Let's say just an honest businessman trying to get some cheap poison or something like that. Uh, well, honest and honest, I don't know. But you, you, you can just go in here and get the poison. You don't have to go through like the markets where you can see all the slaves and stuff. So you have a gate here. There will be guards on either side here. And there's going to be slaves. And like the, the, the deepest part of this little town here will be behind this gate. And then all the way back here is going to be the palace for um, like the leader of Thornsbury so that is good the slave keeper or the slaver uh, is living here so this is a slave trader uh, currently work in progress but he has like living quarters up here uh, with a kitchen and all of that and then yeah a little bit of area here so he has like a small little place here where he uh, lives but then he's going to have a market where he sells the slaves over here and then he's gonna have a dungeon for them underground here which uh, will connect up with the build hello thank you over here so it's going to all connect up and kind of make sense and create a nice little underground part here which is cool so yeah that's something we're gonna do uh, but not today let's just start guys let's just get into this um, I have a little bit of an idea as you can see I've been I've been uh, placing some blue blocks, and that means Vigo has been planning. Whoops. So I'm just gonna get that and get that, and then I think I'm just gonna do this. And then. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. So we'll just see how much we can do today. I definitely want to get this part here done, which is going to be the slavery part. Then there's going to be other markets here, because as I've said, there's no more people living here. It's just not bandits. It's all kind of people. Uh, so maybe someone is just selling vegetables and stuff like that over here. And then someone selling tools, I don't know. So all of this stuff is going to be here, but yeah, it's going to... We will start with this, the darkest part. Uh, I think this one here is probably going to be a little bit like that. It's just going to be a small gate uh, to lead into the dungeons here. So it's going to be something like this, I think. That's a plan at least. Uh, and then maybe 
bring in like a little bit of this around here and then potentially have it like sloped like a roof um, let's see if I do something like that and that and then bring this along here does that look good um probably not i don't like the way that that looks uh so let's remove that and then um do something different then i guess what we can do is something like that where we do it like so that will work then we bring that there and then an arch right here and then we bring the clothes hangers just along here just to get a border like that and then we could potentially put some stuff here like that and then actually let, let me just not do that for now and um, I think we're gonna keep it like that for now. It's not looking too good, but I have an idea that might um, affect. Hello? Oh crap. Um, there we go. Because uh, what I want to do here is something I think I think it's gonna turn out good, but uh, we'll have to see. So, I'm gonna place that there. Then let's go five out like that so basically we're gonna have these pillars and then we're gonna have uh, something hanging over like textiles um, is that five that is four that is five and then there's gonna be this one here as well so it's gonna be like this whole area is covered in some kind of I'm not sure if it's a blanket it's more probably more like a curtain and then this one there and then Oh, that's gonna come crash with this but we can move that over and then just do it this way that's no problem and then this one will then go up like that um, yes I think that's decent for now so what I want to do basically is to have I think I want to use wool or maybe, I don't know, let's see. Do we have any good looking... How's this one? Does this have? No. Um, I don't know. Can you... Oh, I need to have slabs. That is like the biggest priority here, that I have slabs and we'll eat. No, we don't have that. So let's just move. Uh, and probably I, I, I was thinking red but do we we have a lot of red don't we oh actually not too much we can use red let's use red um, and that would hang like that and then oh this is not correct though but I guess it works still uh, it would probably go here but okay let's uh, yeah, we can work with that. And that. So it's gonna hang like that and then be like a uh, shade underground or underneath here where you can um, walk and look at the slaves you might want to buy and stuff like that. It's gonna be something like that probably, yeah. So let's uh, see if we can do this first one here. And then uh, it's going to be pretty similar over here, even though it's a little bit smaller. But it's going to be probably something like that. And then it's going to. Something like that. I don't know. It's so tricky doing these things. Um, And then like so. That works, I think. 
And we can of course maybe switch in some red here because I, I hope there's like red slab. These ones, um, I don't know. Uh, I want to use these vines here as well, but we're gonna get to that. But I, I, I really need, yeah, there we go, perfect. Uh, slabs, you know. Just to mix it up a little bit, to um, to make it look more worn down and stuff like that, which is very important when you build stuff like this. Something like that would work. Uh, and then, is this a cool block? No, okay, so. Can I put you there? No, I'm gonna use this then and then do like so. Um, that works, <laughs> I hope. You know, it, it's looking a little shabby here, but it gets the job done. Yeah, that's that's better. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll do the same over here then, uh, which would then be like that, and then basically just like this. Yeah, that's cool. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Something of yeah along the lines of what I was imagining. So that's good. And then it's gonna be like that. And then come on now, thank you. And the little thing there, and then. Okay, I'm not sure how this will work, but let's give it a try here to... Um... Okay, let's just do that, and then... Like that, and that... Okay, okay, and then it's gonna be some stuff below here. We then go like that, then we need to take away that one, and that one, and we're good, okay. And then basically just fill in here again, something like that, you know, let's just keep it for now, and this is also going to connect over here, and I think it's just gonna, it's gonna go like that. And then like that, and something like that. Yeah, I can live with that. So basically, um, this is like the underground part here, and then there is... I wonder if any one of these have... No, it doesn't have like a big part, but can I place you, place you like a upside down slab don't think you can let me see that no um okay so what we'll do then is this is going to be like a scene or uh, an area where they would show off the different slaves uh, maybe maybe like that or we can use this that's better and they will walk up here and then like present the slaves uh, and then people could buy them if they want and there would probably be some chain hanging on here for the slaves to uh, you know to be uh, chained onto so it's gonna be something like that and there's a, probably going to be I'm thinking like stools for people to sit on while they kind of uh, bet I, I guess they would bid on on this so 
they would sit here and give their prices and then uh, yeah they would buy them and then there's probably going to be like some coins and stuff here do we have that yes perfect um, I'm gonna deny you sorry um, I am middle of an episode right now um, let's bring that across like so and then maybe just finish up with some small details here and there like that small little cypress there actually I want to see what it would look like if we add like a rail to this just a little bit of a, of a rail yeah let's just add that adds a little bit of detail which is always good um, yeah I can live with that and Yeah, maybe there's gonna be some coins on here. I don't know. It's like that's the tricky part about building stuff like this. It's yeah, it's, you don't really have too many references because well, I haven't been to one of these. <laughs> I promise you guys, I, I haven't. And um, you know, it's kind of hard to find pictures of this. Believe me, I've tried. And yeah. So we just kind of have to feel it a little bit and kind of build something that makes sense. But I think this would work. And then I guess we would have cages over here. So let's do that. Um, cages for um, the prisoners or the slaves, I guess. So that would be uh, probably be like this. Would that work? I think that might be uh, all we have to do here. Yeah, I guess. Can I get out here, please? No, okay. Gotta fly around and then in here is probably gonna be like uh, Maybe some hay on the ground to for them to sleep on. We can actually use this one, I think, um, and combine that with where is that? Uh, this one here, and it might even be like I don't know bones, maybe. Maybe people have I don't know. That sounds looks kind of brutal, but you know, let's give it a try, and, and then some flies like that in here. Definitely would be some of that in there. And then maybe something like that. And then the same here. Just to add some depth to this, because I don't really know what to put here. Maybe we could put a desk of some sort. Um, we'll, we'll see. Just creating a little bit of depth here. Like that, and like that, and then maybe some paperwork here. You know, they would definitely have to write down the slaves they sold and stuff. Yeah, guys, let me know if there's anything you think I should add here, because. Uh, I'm running a little bit out of ideas for this, so let me know if you have any good suggestions. Um, yeah, I really want to hear them. I think we can do something like that. Just for... Uh, to separate it up a little bit? Is that weird? Nah, let's do that. Uh, so let me know down below, guys. I think uh, that is it for today's episode. I really do hope that you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see all of you later. It's been Vega, man. And I'm out.